This video is going to walk you through how to data drive a Power BI report using filters in the PBRS software. From the home screen, I'm going to click on Data Driven for Power BI. I am then going to select the 32-bit ODBC connection to my database where the data that I want to data drive is located. Use, enter in a username and password if it is required and click on connect. I am then going to select the table in my database. You can get more specific if you would like. Um, for myself, my database isn't that large. My table isn't large. Um, 34 records found. I'm going to hit OK and hit OK and then select my key column. I'm going to go ahead and click on next and then I'm going to select my Power BI account and the workspace and the report that I need to data drive. I'm going to go ahead and remove this name. I'm going to click on next and then I'm going to schedule this out for the time and date that I want it to start. I'm going to leave mine set to daily to run at 9 a.m. Click on next and you've got your report settings. Um, I'm going to go ahead and change mine because I am using a PDF format. I do want my left and right margins to be uh, set to five to give it a little bit of space. And then I do have two pages for this report, so I'm going to make sure I enter that in. I'm then going to click next and this is where I'm going to enter in my filter. I'm going to go ahead and click on add and I do need to enter in the table and column where um, I am going to be using my filter. And then under my data driven data, I'm, you'll notice that I've got all of the columns from my database and I'm going to go ahead and click and drag over my industry because that is what I'm filtering. I'm then going to click add and hit next. From here, I'm going to select my email destination. And in the to field, because I want each recipient to receive their own specified report, I'm going to select my email insert and drag that over. And in regards to the naming, I'm going to go ahead and copy this, but I want to use a customized output name using the customer profit, the name of the report, customer profitability. And then I'm going to also use a constant or an insert is what I like to call it and use the current date. I'm going to go ahead and recopy my report name so that in my email subject and I'm going to put daily report. Under the format tab, I am going to select PDF. And in the body, I am going to make it a little customized. I'm going to select the first name and say, please find attached your, and I'm going to just use this daily report but I am going to say four and then I'm going to go ahead and drag over the current date insert again. Thanks, Sarah. All right, I'm going to go ahead and hit OK and I've got my email destination completed. I'm going to hit next. I don't have any exception handling that I want to do um, and there's no custom tasks that I need to have set and run before or after the report. So I'm going to go ahead and hit finish. And that is how you create a data-driven schedule using filters in the PBRS software.